What we're going to be going through here are some employee related liabilities here and specifically looking at payroll deductions. Now common types of payroll deductions are taxes, insurance premiums, employee savings, and union dues that the employee would be paying. Now if a company has not remitted the amounts deducted to the proper authority here for these payroll deductions at the end of the accounting period it should recognize them here as a current liability here that the company would recognize a current liability for whatever those payroll deductions are. Now well, let's just look at we're going to be looking at some examples of some governmental types of payroll withholding taxes here. And first would be Social Security taxes or the FICA tax here. You report the amount of unremitted tax on the gross wages paid as a current liability here and as an operating expense. Now looking at unemployment taxes or food as, as they refer to it here. You'd record the amount of accrued but unpaid employer contributions as an operating expense and as a current liability when preparing your financial statements. And then for income tax withholding you'd have both federal and state here. Uh, the tax laws require that the employers withhold from each of the employees pay the applicable income tax due on these wages here. So what you have to do here is you have to determine what your payroll deductions would be here. You'd have to class them by the various items and, and then what you'd want to do is you'd have to set a uh, determine who pays what here for each of those items and then you'd separate them out here. Uh, what the employee would be paying here and then what the employer would be paying here. So you'd separate those things out. But in either case here uh, the employer would report these as liabilities until they're remitted. So the employer is actually taking money out of the employee's pay or their check here and they're setting it aside here for any of the liabilities that the employee would are the any of the uh, taxes that the employee would have to be paying or other things like a uh, hospital insurance here or union dues and then um, also you've got the employer here so in either case here the employer reports as liabilities here on their balance sheet until they're remitted to whatever uh, authority it might be the, for taxes the federal and state and maybe union dues or whatever that would be going to the union office here so we're going to be go going through a basic example here just to see how we'd record these here on our balance sheet in our income statement here as liabilities here and as expenses what we're going to be going through here is just a basic example here on some payroll deductions and what we have to do is we have to determine what the employees payroll deductions would be here and also what the employees payroll taxes would be here on this on this payroll here and the key is you have to separate the employee here from the employee on, uh, employer and what they would be paying here now before we get into our example let's just make a point here withholding taxes are based on tax laws such as wage limits here and wage credits and also tax credits and uh, there's it's complicated and can be complex here so you for each case here when you're making these uh, withholding taxes and deductions here you have to determine what uh, determine each case separately here based on tax law so let's just get in and look at our basic example here we're gonna have a weekly payroll here by a company of ten thousand dollars and then they're gonna have these taxes here a FICA Medicare tax of 7.65 percent unemployment federal tax here of 0.8 percent unemployment state of 4 percent here and then there's withholding here on the employees wages that's what the employee is paying here of thirteen hundred and twenty dollars here on this weekly payroll here and then the employees also have some eighty eight dollars worth of union dues that they have to pay so just looking at uh, first our employee payroll deductions uh, what we'd have our withholding tax payable here that was uh, taken out of the employees check of thirteen hundred and twenty dollars and they also have to pay their portion here of the FICA tax at 7.65 percent here of the ten thousand uh, dollar weekly payroll here that would be seven hundred and sixty five dollars union dues payable here of uh, eighty eight dollars so and then there's cash here well the wage expense would be uh, debited here for ten thousand dollars so your cash is just the balancing amount here as your credit balance here of seven eight hundred and twenty seven dollars now for the employees payroll taxes they're going to have um, a FICA tax payable again that's seven point six five percent here on the ten thousand dollars for seven hundred sixty five dollars federal unemployment tax the point point eight 
up percent here, eighty dollars here on the ten thousand, and then state unemployment tax payable of four percent here on the ten thousand dollars for four hundred dollars. So, uh, totaling those up here, a credit amount here, you're going to get a debit here to the payroll tax expense of twelve hundred and forty-five dollars. All right, so let's go and look at how we record these here, so you get a little idea here how we set up our payables here. So first, we're going to look at the employee payroll deductions. Remember, we had that imp, and uh, this is again what the employee gets credit for these costs here that we're going to be looking at it because the employee actually pays these items here but the company is going to be taking them out of their pay here to make sure they get paid and what the company has to do is they have to set up a liability here on these until these payables these taxes here and these in this case these union dues are actually paid or remitted so they set up a liability so first looking at our employee here a tax is payable remember they had that withholding tax of thirteen hundred and twenty dollars and then they had their FICA Social Security here of seven hundred sixty five dollars so they credit the taxes payable here for that amount and then also they had the union dues here paid that was the employees um, has to pay that to the union but the company takes it out of their check here for $88 here so remember we had uh, just going back to our wage expense here we of ten thousand dollars that was uh, the payroll for the um, weekly payroll here we would have credited or debited our wage expense here on our income statement here for ten thousand dollars that's what the company has done here so uh, the balancing amounts would have gone to a course we talked about our taxes payroll here uh, taxes payable here are what the employee is paying the thirteen twenty seven sixty five and also the union dues here of eighty eight dollars the credit amount here now we have to take out the cash here that the employee had or the employer here had paid the employee here so the employer pays credit cash here for seventy eight hundred and twenty seven dollars and that's simply the balancing amount here between what uh, the withholdings here and the well we have the credit here of seventy eight twenty seven plus the other credits here um, add up to the debit amount here of ten thousand dollars for the wage expense here so you get the point here employee here gets credit for these things but the employer or the gets credit the employee is paying for these items here these liabilities here but the employer has to set it up as a liability or a payable here on their balance sheet before they get remitted to whatever the government source or in this case the union office here and then they also have to recognize a cash expense for a balancing amount now let's go down here and look at the uh, employee payroll deduction and again this is what the employer is going to pay here so if we go back to our our schedule or what we calculated here for our payroll expense we had at twelve hundred and forty five dollars so we are we had set up here on our income statement a payroll tax expense here uh, debit that here for twelve hundred and forty five dollars again on our income statement and then we set up these taxes payable here as their liability until they're remitted to the government source here either the state or the fed here so on our balance sheet we have the taxable taxes payable again the employee share uh, employer share here of seven hundred sixty five dollars federal unemployment here of eighty dollars and state unemployment here of four hundred dollars so our credits here of uh, taxes payable a balance with our debits amount here of payroll expense so this what we've done here is just separated out the employer from the employee so and uh, you have to do that here just remember you set up your uh, uh, liability or current liability account here uh, uh, for whatever the payable amount is here and it remains as a liability account here until it's remitted to what uh, remitted or paid to whatever source here that's taken care of so here uh, we've just went through a very basic example but each, when you're dealing with these problems you have to get into the tax law and determine where your debits or what your credits and all your limits would be here let's just go back here one more time here to this little schedule we have here so um, just remember here when you're working with these problems separate out the item that you have to assign here to the employee and 
the item here that you have to send to the employer. And what we mean by the item here is what these withholding uh, on your payroll withholding items here, be it hospital insurance, union dues, or whatever tax amount here. Separate them out here between the employee and the employer here and who pays. And then just remember the employee reports as a liability here until it's remitted or paid to whatever source, the government uh, bodies here or to the insurance companies or what have you. So just a basic example here on how we'd handle these uh, payroll deductions here between the employee and the employer.